Steve Kerr justified decision to bench Jason Tatum in USA vs Serbia. Hello everyone and welcome to this show to the point audio podcast. Jason Tatum was not hurt. He was not facing an unknown suspension or sulking as a result of some tough rotation decision. Instead, the Boston Celtics superstar simply did not play in Team USA blowout victory to tip off the 2024 Olympic due to a coach decision. After After the America impressive 110-84 victory over Serbia on Sunday, Steve Kerr explained why Tatum left never left the bench against Nikola Jokic and company. So, I went with the combination that made sense, he said of Tatum, as per the resources, Washburn of the Boston Globe. That was for tonight, he handled it well. He all make his mark. Team USA certainly did not need Tatum exploits in Lily to easily dispatch another medal contender. LeBron James was arguably the United States' best player versus Serbia, while Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant making his long-awaited return from a calf injury. Powered in a, uh, in a 21 points before halftime, Devin Booker drained 4-3 as an Anthony Edwards made his explosive presence felt on both hands. The front court tandem of Anthony Davis and Bam suffocated the position once again defensively. Where should have Tatum fit into Team USA lineup on Sunday given, the, given those developments? There will be undoubtedly come a time when the American need a Tatum on the both for a path to gold medal. But international basketball is not the NBA and Team USA is not the Celtics. Someone had to join Teresa Halliburton to, on the outside looking it, uh, in a regular minutes upon the United States getting back to full strength. With James and Durant playing and thriving in such a central role for a deep, well rounded Team USA, Tatum could prove more of a bit player at the Olympics than he, uh, he is ever been for Boston. So guys, this is all in this short audio podcast. I hope you guys like it. Can you do comment in the comment section? Thank you so much for watching.